Hello, it is me, and it is Penny, here with another episode of The Mandalorian. Season 3, it's been really fun so far, um, really looking forward to seeing what direction they take. We're kind of leading into ooh, Mandalore's getting a new place to stay and rebuilding. Bo-Katan going out into the world to find more, bring them to this uh, clan tribe they've made so a lot of fun so yeah i'm just enjoying the the show and the direction they've gone and i'm ready for more so hope you guys are too episode number six or chapter 22 guns for hire of the mandalorian let's get to it what is that, that looks like a fish ship Aha! Close enough. A little funny. Tras viva Marga, robo manir gatimo. Tiamis. Tras. The bira are here, not an empire keeping. Empire. Is that like a he the healing? Is that a bakta tank or? Very cool. Interesting. Uh, ooh, we got friends and uh, places. Basic is not my native tongue. I meant to say that we were not aware of the majestic imperial presence in this sector, and we will gladly hire your protection. Is that something they? We are oh. not imperial either. Oh. We are Mandalorian. Oh. And sadly, you're too late to hire us. You see, we've been commissioned to track you down, Captain Shuggers. You see, we were already hired by a certain Mon Calamari Viceroy who has reason to believe Ooh. you absconded with her son. Absconded? Well, so we finally have peace with the Calamari. Why would I jeopardize peace and prosperity? I know it was for love. But my job is not to judge, but simply to complete the tasks for which we were hired. Bro. No! I won't go. I won't go. We love each other. Sorry, I gotta bring you back home to your folks. Sad. I can't go back to that wretched palace. Don't make us damage your girlfriend's pretty little ship. Captain, please. Oh. We knew fate was not on our side. Who cares about Cute fate? Cute and awkward. I love you. And I will always love you. Kudos to the actors. Some of best friends. You can do this. Would they really get paid enough to break out Gideon? Moth Gideon? Ooh. Ooh, she looks good. Quite a fleet. It took me a long time to assemble it. Most of it was captured from the Empire. I knew they looked familiar. Could come in real So handy they built this ship Mandalore. out of Imperial Axel materials. Is their leader now. It's an independent world that hired them for protection. It's a freaking pretty the world. Will be happy to see you. Yeah. Welcome to Plasia 15, the Outer Rim's only remaining direct democracy. You've been assigned a docking sign path. What? Engaging automated guidance. Wow. What is this? I guess we're going for a ride. This is interesting. Uh huh. Is this a Android controlled system? Please proceed to your hyperloop. Pod. I love him. All this sleek black. Why do they have Imperial droids on an independent world? It's the outer rim. Din Djarin and Bo Katan Kryze. Your presence has been requested by the leadership of the planetary democracy. I'm afraid we have more pressing matters. <laughs> <laughs> I am loving this. This is hilarious. Okay. There's some. Join us! Come! Please! It's a party! Please! <gasps> it's Jack Everyone, special Black! Mandalorian. Is that Lizzo too? I, like what? I love that they have him in this. Oh my gosh. I was once a facilities planning officer during the war. 
And thanks to the New Republic Amnesty Program, I was able to help rebuild Plasia 15. You were Imperial? He was. Plasia suffered greatly under Imperial He rule. oversaw the rebuilding of this planet on which my family served as nobility since it was originally settled, and we fell in love. We fell in love. We <laughs> did fall in love. <laughs> oh. Can I perhaps hold the baby? Oh, 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 so fast. This gives me the <laughs> Marvel, see, that planet, planet, the collector. Age. We held direct democratic elections for the first time in our history. I'm but really obsessed with this right now. You it's... really must see the view. We thought. They were, my love. I personally oversaw the program. What kind of malfunction? Program. I mean, nothing too serious at first. Unexpected power. I love cycles, her outfit. What stacks. is that? It got worse. Oh my gosh. Traffic accidents, uh, heavy equipment. Oh, I met a mercenary. Apologies if that is the impression I gave. What I intended oh my to gosh. convey is that I would hope that this <sighs> excursion I would can't. be viewed as an act of diplomacy between our two planets. These wow. droids were all reprogrammed to serve the community. Oh the my. Stockpile of captured Imperial robots. This Droid is amazing. Reprogramming was a complete success. It's dark. Until one day, an isolated event. Oh, that's real sketch. This is just a small collection of malfunctions that our security cameras caught. Yeah, that could, uh, that's escalating real fast. Oh no. Ah! Oh, our friends. We were sent on behalf of the Duchess and Captain Bombardier to help you with your droid problem. Hello? Hello? This is going nowhere. Is I am Brogo Mandalorian Dinjarin, friend of Ugnat Quill. You will answer our questions and help us Quill. with our task. I have spoken. I have spoken. <laughs> this is not the case. I have spoken. We're not in any way suggesting that your work is to blame. The stories of Ugnat's skill with smithing droids are legendary. We know that Ugnats are considered the hardest working species in the galaxy. <laughs> We, yes. like you, have been engaged with the task to perform. I haven't seen battle droids since the Clone Wars. Yeah, yeah. that would be really awkward. Anyone more suspicious? Oh, Don't be suspicious. This is a restricted area. Oh, I miss you them. You want to vacate immediately. We have a few questions. Show me your identification, please. We're here on behalf of the Duchess to investigate the droid malfunctions. Yes. I saw the report. Yes. Certification is on file. Uh, I wouldn't do that if I were you. Why is that? Well, as a precaution. Their base function was a work. Yeah, uh, what are you doing? Then this shouldn't phase them. Uh, sir? Excuse me, excuse Sir, me. that's rude. Sir. <laughs> yeah, you did, uh, kind of provoke them, but... This is so cool. Bro! I feel like that droid is literally just trying to get away from the threat. Whoa. Oh my gosh, they literally have a bar for droids. That's kind of cute. So there's a rebellious droid. Ooh, that blue. I like how the music, everything just shuts off. Is this the resistor? This is. That spark pad was found on a rogue You can battle. check my registry. We are in full compliance with planetary hierarchical. If you don't start answering questions, I'll yank your memory circuit and dissect Din. it back at the lab. Bad cop. Oh. Nobody leaves. What are you doing? You're wasting your time. You can't reason with droids. 
Their behavior's programmed. All they do is reason. They're also programmed not to harm organics. How's that going? Look, you are not helping. <laughs> His body language is so funny right now. To visit here doesn't mean that this one is Some droids on Plazia date back to the Separatists. Aww. The New Republic would send them to scrap. But here on Plazia, they are given a second Again, chance. It's created us. It's the least we can do. Oh. What an interesting planet. The particles are definitely present. Bro, a laser? Oh no. That would not be a fun thing to run from. Let's literally a laser beam through. They're still active. Actually, nanodroids. How did nanodroids get into the Nepenthe? It's writing. It's code. Rotate the perspective. It's a chain code. If it has a chain code, then we should be able to determine its point of origin. They were originally manufactured by the Techno Union. Oh. Been in cold storage for ages. These droids were ordered by an individual. Is there a name? Our head of security. <gasps> Commissioner Hellgate. Naughty. He's got the kill switch. You programmed them to disrupt an attack. You're coming with us. Everyone freeze! If I trigger this failsafe, it will convert the planet's docile workforce back into battle droids and unleash them upon the unsuspecting citizens of Plasia. I didn't give up to the corrupt Republic. I didn't give up to the they Empire. They just shoot you, bud. You're a separatist. Separatist is a pejorative term. I support democracy. Count Dooku was a visionary. He Aww. was cut short in his prime by the Jedi forces. I mean, well. Okay, let me get that for you, my lady. Your toss, Luffy. Wow, what a hard life. The Grogu no. got a new friend. No. Whoa. No. Planet is unrecognizable since he arrived. I had a feeling you hated me. I'm disappointed <laughs> in you, Commissioner. I am sorry to have disappointed you, my lady. Perhaps someday I can earn uh, such forgiveness from your grace. So this planet was originally a Perhaps I grant knighthood. You are now a knight of the ancient order of independent regencies. Wow. Oh. My lord. My lady. My baby. <laughs> yeah, that's a decent number of man. I did not realize I had that large of a group. I've come to reclaim my fleet. It's no longer your fleet, is it? Then I challenge you. Yep. One warrior to another. Are we gonna see it right now? I do. Ooh. Just right here. Just gonna fight right here. Around all those potential explosives. Don't cheat. There we go. Never. Oh, snap. I love her little shield. Do you yield again? Do you yield. You will never be the true leader of all people. But according to our ways, the ruler of Mandalore must possess the dark saber. Then she shall have it. Are they gonna fight? While exploring Mandalore, I was captured, and this blade was taken from me. Bo-Katan rescued me and slayed my captor. She defeated the enemy that defeated me. I mean, 
Would this blade then not belong to her? Yeah. She gave it back because they had taken it from her. It would. Hey! Dan. Oh my gosh, what a fun episode. Right, Penny? Did you like it? Okay, she's going. That episode was so fun. I was like, I have a tendency when I get distracted focusing on one thing, I then don't catch some of the dialogue <laughs> story. But I freaking love that Jack Black was in this. He made like some, you know, really fun Star Wars YouTube shorts during the pandemic. And I mean, I just love him as a person. So, and Lizzo was a surprise, but I thought they both did wonderful. They played those parts well. I love the relationship Grogu and the Duchess had together. It was very cute. Um, Christopher Lloyd, seeing him in action was super fun and he did great. I loved seeing all the different species, the, the Ugnaughts, all the different droids. I love that they pers pers personified the droids, which, you know, that's always been the controversy, right? Is like, do people look at them and view them the same and treat them as people? But I love that little moment where they're like, humans don't live very long. They created us and it's the least we can do. And they only use us for limited purposes. So I find that so sweet. And I think, and they, that the fact that they were concerned too about being replaced, I, I just thought, you know, we have obviously saw some episodes in the Clone Wars where they were highlighting droids in different moments and giving that. So I just thought it was a really sweet moment. Um, you know, and then in the end, bringing it back and she, it was, you know, what Din said and, and Bo Katan taking possession of the dark saber. It was something that they all could justify, right? The other Mandalorians, but Bo Katan herself, she didn't want to just take it, but she, they're like, you make a good point. He had it in his possession. He was defeated by an enemy who took it from him and she defeated that enemy. And instead of like taking possession of it, you know, he, he, he reclaimed it. But he wouldn't have reclaimed it without that enemy being defeated, which she did. So I love they were able to get to still have it coincide with their belief of like winning it in battle, which she did. And she won in battle against Axe as well. So she's a proven time and time again warrior, but also a leader consistently. And so it's an interesting dynamic to see obviously them see her leadership again shine through and to follow her. I'm interested now to see the coming together of this as they at the mercenary and Mandalorian see the extremists or whatever. And then them like helm or no helm. Will there be a coming together and accepting of those who follow this the way with not removing the helmet? Will they make compromises or what? Will they just live together and have these small separation? I'm not sure. It'll be interesting. I think they could definitely live cohesively if they just have this acceptance of those who follow that way and those who don't. They're all Mandalorian. I Kudos to Bo-Katan too for, I think, sending an important message that can be, you know, obviously shown in our own world <laughs> that our ancestors, our ancestors, you know, originally, they took up the creed at one point mandalorians started and that's what they did they took up the creed they followed the way and din might not have a drop of blood in his system feels very um muggles harry potter or whatever you know like oh you're not pure blood or whatever and they're like he follows the creed he's a proven warrior he follows this path he's no different than you or i um, same thing of like chosen family, right? Versus like blood family. Like it's not about the blood. It's about the path you chose and the family you choose, which is what they've done. And so I just thought overall this episode was really well done. There's a lot of things that were really exciting. They had this little fun little blurb that could definitely come back. But I also think it's a really cool concept of like Plazir 15, a planet that's like named after him. Um, very posh uh, life, uh, very luxe. I don't know how they're able to get away with that. Um, but yeah, a lot of really cool things, uh, conversations going on. And I love the throwback to Krill, Killy, what I'm spacing. Um, Quill, Quill, his Ugnaught friend from season one that, 
you know, I I love that moment. And that's a, that's like the at least second or third time that Din has done that where he has adjusted himself and and shown respect of a culture. He did the same thing with the um the Tuscan the Tuscan Raiders, you know, speaking their language um or coming to that understanding or knowing how to interact with the dogs. I believe it was him, not but with it, right? Or he at least learned in future times how to communicate with them respectfully. Um, and same thing with the Ugnaughts, same things with other people he comes across. Um, maybe not with the droids, he was a little bit harsh with them, but they both, both him and Bo had good points. He's like, they follow a programming until they don't. And she's like, they are a program for reasoning, right? Um, so overall, yeah, I have a lot of feelings and things to think about in this episode. And I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction and my thoughts. If you wanna, if you made it this far, you liked the video, go ahead and give the video a thumbs up. If you aren't currently subscribed, hit the subscribe button. It shows you when my videos go live since the schedule is not consistent and it shows your support and interest. So love to see it, love to have it. And yeah, that's all I have to say. I can't wait for the next episode. Um, I'm clearly always surprised. You never know what they're gonna show. They might do little filler moments, but I love all of it. Um, and again, I love the visuals they give us. Uh, her beautiful fashion statement, digital fashion bow, the back of her dress even her hair, like everything, all the aesthetics of that city was beautiful. I love the combination of, I, I assume CGI and um, practical effects with like all the face, like the Ugnaughts and stuff. I'm not displeased with the not complete matching up with dialogue and mouth movements. You know, again, it's not, they're trying to transverse between humans mouth m motions and speaking with our lips versus other mechanical means and other things. So it doesn't, it's not a, a turn off for me. I, I, I can get past it. It kind of feels homey to me. So yeah, overall loved it. Uh, hope you guys did too. Thanks for being here and I will see you on the next one.